Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from PressuresWorld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. So today, the topic that we are going to look on to it is Probability, Basic Tricks and Formulas. So before going in depth into the topic, we should know what is probability is. So basic definition of probability is how likely an event is supposed to happen. So the basic formula that one needs to know to solve the aptitude sum in probability is So this is the basic formula. So the numerator has the favorable outcome depending upon the question that you've been asked by the total number of outcomes. There are six basic tricks and formula one must definitely know to crack any sums that you face in an exam. So let's get started. The first trick is so if you see the word and in a question, it means you have to multiply it. For example, let's say three kings and one queen or three red balls and one blue balls. So if you find a question where they ask the probability of this combination with and then you have to multiply. So that is the trick one. Trick two. Similarly, if the question has or in it, then you have to definitely add it. For example, one king or one queen, one red ball or two blue ball. If you find the word or in the question, immediately you have to add it. So the third trick that one must know in a probability is So you would have faced a lot of questions in the competitive exam asking at least. So what is at least? The word itself shows it starts from minimum. So always remember at least means minimum to maximum. Let's say a question asks like you have three bags and out of which you need to choose two bags out of it. At least two bags. So it says at least which means minimum to maximum so minimum you have to choose two bags out of three so the minimum is two the maximum is three so the various probabilities that you have to do is two and three so this is the meaning of at least so the fourth trick one must know is at most So the word utmost itself shows that maximum. So here you go from maximum to minimum. Let's take an example. Let's say one bag contains three blue balls out of which at most you need to take two balls. So one bag has three balls out of which probability of two balls is your question. So at most two balls which means maximum is two balls so maximum is two balls then the likelihood no middle part is one so maximum two one then minimum that you need to know is zero so maximum to minimum so the fifth most important trick is if you see the word selection or picking up it means combination so this is the most common question nowadays you face it in an aptitude exams selecting two balls out of three picking up of two balls from a bag so if you find these kind of questions you should always use the combination so there are two ways of solving this combination one is using the formula that we generally know and here comes without formula so we know the general formula for combination is NCR is equal to 
n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial. Let's say you are a person who can't remember a lot of formulas when it comes to an aptitude exam. Then here comes the easy method. Let's take an example before that. Let's say we have a single bag, one bag which contains three balls, out of which they are asking the probability of you picking up two balls. So probability of two balls. Let's say you don't know the formula now. So how you do it? So maximum is three balls that you have in a bag, out of which you need to take two balls. So C2. So this is the total number of balls that a bag contains and out of which how many balls you need to choose. So let's say you know don't know the formula. This shows the number of times this has to be reduced. 3 into 2. Why only 2 times you are reducing? Because here it has 2. Divided by here 2. So 1 into 2. Simple right? Let's take another example. Let's say 5C3. So here is the total number of balls out of which you need to take 3 balls. So how many times? This is always remember number of times we reduce. So 5 and 3. So 5 into 4 into 3 divided by 1 into 2 into 3. Simple right? So this is the last trick that we did is easy if the number of balls that we need to choose is less. Let's consider an example. Let's say out of 100 balls you need to choose 98 balls. So it will be 100 C 98. So it is not possible to reduce 100 98 times. So here comes the trick. What you have to do is that subtract these two. 100 minus 98 which is 2. So, you can write it as 100 C2, which is 100 into 99 divided by 1 into 2. You can reduce this. The value that we get here is same as that for this. Let's take in another example. Let's take, we are having 200 balls, out of which we need to choose 197 balls. So, as usual, we will write 200 C197. So, inter, instead of reducing it 197 times, what do you do? You just subtract it 200 minus 197, which is 3. So, 200 C3, which is 200 into 199 into 198 divided by 1 into 2 into 3. So, if you find the answer for it, it is same as that for 200 C197. If you can understand all the six tricks that we have solved today, it will be very easy to crack any problem that you can face in a probability. If you are a person who is looking for a better career, kindly register to our freshersworld.com and for further aptitude training videos, kindly subscribe to our channel. Thank you.